What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. This channel is all about fitness and martial arts for older guys, a smarter, more sustainable approach. I myself am an older guy. Uh, I'm 41 years old and I've been uh, practicing martial arts for uh, forever. I'm a brown belt in judo, been doing that for five years. Prior to that, I did uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, so I'm really into grappling. I also do wrestling at this point. Today, we're gonna talk about morning routines, right? Now, I don't know if ever you guys heard this, if you win the morning, you win the day, right? So, and this is a common theme among a lot of athletes and uh, even successful people in general, right? Who, who've, who've done big things. They always prioritize winning the morning. So to win the morning, you actually have to have, to have a morning routine, okay? So today, I'm just gonna explain to you guys my, my morning routine, why I do what I do, and then from there, well, if you guys don't have one, maybe you can kind of inspire yourself off this. And even if you do have one, maybe you could uh, mod it a little bit, modify it so that, uh, you know, you, you take what you need, right? Kind of like Bruce Lee. So uh, absorb what is useful and reject what, uh, what is not. I wake up at six. First thing I do is I hydrate because the thing is you just slept seven, eight hours, so you're dehydrated. Now, the way you do that is not just chugging down water, but you gotta get in some water, but add some salt to it. So your body actually retains the water. Next thing you gotta do is that you gotta move. So this is so you wake up, like you wanna ease into your day and this is how you do it. So either you do that by doing burpees, doing push-ups, going outside for a walk, or jumping jacks, whatever. But you gotta get moving and you gotta get your heart rate going. You only need about 10 minutes to get this done. Now me, what I do is that I have a pool uh, in my building. So what I do is that when I wake up, I hydrate and I go downstairs, I jump right into the pool, swim for about five, 10 minutes just to get enough to get the, the heart rate going. And then I'm out. I don't, I don't spend too much time there, but that wakes me up. There's a little patio door there um, in the swimming pool. So I open that door and I go out into like a little uh, the patio and then there's sun there well, when it's sunny. So I get sunlight. It's important to get sunlight because that sets your security and rhythm, uh, rhythm. And that makes it so that your brain activates and you wake up, you know? Because the body is made to essentially wake up when the sun rises and then you're supposed to sleep when the sun sets. That's how our bodies are made, right? And then from there, I come back upstairs and I meditate. Now, I only do that for about two minutes, really. Two to five minutes. And the way I do it is, of course, you have to breathe, breathe through your nose, you know, stomach breathing and all that. But the idea really is to either just get ready for the day, clear your mind, focus your thoughts, uh, do affirmations, do whatever you want. If you don't want to think about anything, don't. If you do want to think about something, go ahead. I feel as though when you want to think about something, you're, you know, that's when you're focused and you're like, okay, this is what I got to do today, focus, and you know, you, you you affirm uh, what you're going to do and or even your well, affirmations. I think it's even better to just say it as if it's, it's already done, right? Or if, if not, you could just meditate and just breathe and just not think of anything. That's good too, right? That's like more to relax and to calm the mind down. It depends on how you feel. If you're anxious, it's better to calm your mind down. If you're feeling sluggish, it's better to try to amp your brain up, okay? Okay, so from there, from 6.30 till seven o'clock, that's when I stretch out, okay? So I stretch out and I made a whole video on stretching, so I'm not gonna get into details here, but that's when I stretch. So for half an hour, I do some stretches. From there, from seven to nine, I go and I hit the gym. Now, there's two hours here, but there's commute time. There's about half an hour commute time uh, going to the gym and half an hour coming back. To make the best out of that commute time is that I, listen to some kind of podcast that I download on my phone because I don't want to use all my data. <laughs> Me, it's a mix. Some days I feel like music, some days I like listening to something um, just to you know, ease into my day. Because sometimes blasting music first thing in the morning, some people like it, some people don't. And anyways, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's really up to you. Okay, so then from there, as I, when I get home, it's like nine o'clock, that's when I have breakfast. And of course, once, when I, I prepare my breakfast, which is, that's why I really keep it simple. So my breakfast is prepared in like 10, 15 minutes tops. So then I got about 45 minutes. And while I'm eating, I read. Reading is, is a part of my routine. I find it's good for me, it expands my mind. 
and it's just, uh, it just makes me more creative because I read multiple books <laughs> at the same time, guys. Uh, not at the same time, but I mean, I got a whole bunch of books that I rotate. Um, you know, like I don't just read one book at a time in the sense that I start one book and then I go all the way to the end, then I put it down, then I read another one. No, I have like maybe 10 books I'm reading at the same time. So I'll read, let's say a couple of pages of this one or a chapter of this one, and then I'll switch over to another one and so on because I just, I just like doing that. It's fun. I find that it makes me, it gives me a lot of good uh, ideas, makes me more creative. And so it's just part of my, uh, my process, right? So that's it guys, this is how I do my morning routine. And winning the morning is important to me um, because then after that I win the day, you know? And if I win every single morning and I win every single day, then I won the week, then I won the month, and then if I keep winning month after month, then you know, after that at the end of the year, I have a good year. And my exercise, what does this have to do with exercise? Well, it, it does, if you have a routine, you're gonna stick to it. If you, of course, you have to execute and have the discipline to do it, but I mean, you can always adapt your routine, right? It, it's flexible, guys. I mean, there's no rule to it, but a common theme is that among people who are successful, right? And, you know, in any area of their lives, right? Whether it be in fitness and martial arts and stuff like that, they have a routine. So you have to set yourself a routine for whatever it is that you're, um, that you're doing or what you're trying to achieve because without that, it's chaos. And this is, by the way, Monday to Friday, this is where it's at for me in terms of the time frame. And on the weekends, it's actually the same thing, right? Up until like 10 o'clock, it's the exact same thing. Um, well, sorry, what I mean is that everything here is the same. On the weekends, the only thing that might change is the time. I might sleep in a little bit, but I do the exact same thing every single morning. So that's it, guys. I hope that helped. I hope that uh, inspired some ideas and maybe give you some, um, some food for thought, right? And let me know how it works out and let me know in the comments what you think, what's your actual routine, what are you gonna do to change it? Is there any, who knows, you know, maybe there's some things in the comments where I'm gonna read and I'll be integrating into my stuff too. Uh, I'm always, uh, uh, I always have like a beginner mindset, right? Like I, I, when I perform, I perform with confidence, right? Because I'm performing, I'm, I'm executing, but when I'm learning, then I keep an open mind, uh, beginner mindset, and, and that's the way I, I do things. So that's it for this video, and huge shout out to my video editor, Christian Pham. So without him, none of this would be possible, the whole video editing, the sound, the light, the quality of all this, because you guys saw my previous shit, and it was terrible, but I wanna thank you all for sticking with me for all this time, for all of you guys who've been there uh, since the beginning. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. And like I promised, I said that I wanted to, I would level up at one point, right? And the idea is to get this channel big and to take you guys along my journey as a martial artist, as an older guy, a much older guy, I'm 41 guys, who's trying to essentially fulfill his dreams, his, his, uh, the dreams I had as a kid, right? Which was to go to the Olympics, but uh, I don't delude myself. Olympics is probably out of, um, out of the, 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 poss the realm, the possibility, okay? Realm of possibility, but, you know, a world title in my division, you know, and I spoke with my coaches and stuff like that, and I think I, I, I have what it takes to, to win it, you know? So, hey, second chapter of my life, better late than never, but I'm gonna go for it. So, for those of you guys who've been there, I'm gonna take you guys along the journey and uh, I'm gonna make this happen, man. And of course, with time, these videos are only gonna get better. They're gonna get more frequent. I'll be able to have a better setup, a better team, uh, a bigger team, sorry. Um, you know, because right now it only consists of uh, my video editor and myself. But there'll be more. More people will come. And then from there, it'll get big. Then I, I can have people follow me around, film, uh, what do you call it? Me doing competitions and you can see what I go through and uh, how I deal with my stuff. And anyways, I'll talk about it and I'll have footage and stuff like that, but it's gonna get better and better. So I hope you guys, you know, um, stick with me, okay? And by the way, uh, links in the bio for IG, my Facebook group. I'm also a trainer, guys, so if you guys ever interested in uh, having a little discussion, fill out that form. We'll set up a time, we'll talk, and uh, I'll see how I could help. If it's a good match, if it makes sense, we'll do it. We'll do something. And if not, then don't worry, man. You know, you, well, you guys know me. So that's it.